fantastic win this evening against a very difficult Oldham side. Yeah, uh, massive three points. Obviously, we've been on a good run. Uh, I thought we showed a different side to ourselves today. Um, you know, games aren't always going to go as sort of as we want them to, especially away from home. And uh, they were decent. You know, they, they they knocked the ball around quite well. I don't think they troubled us at all, really. So we are pretty comfortable out of possession. But um, I thought, obviously, we went the goal up, um, and we managed the game well from there on out. Really, I thought we looked dangerous on the counter. And um, yeah, we're happy with the points. Another assist for you as well. Yeah, always happy with that. Yeah. Hey, it must be good to have somebody like James Vaughan in the team, though. That when you can put in a cross, you know that the likelihood is he's going to get at the end of it. Yeah, for sure. Like um, he attacks it so well that like, I know if I put it in the right area, he, the defender's not going to get a free header, and he's probably going to get a header on goal. So I try to do that as much as I can, and uh, you know he's on fire for us, and he's such a big part of what we're doing. So glad, to, glad that I can help him today and get a goal. Five wins on the spin now in the league, so it's fantastic form going into Saturday with the, with the fans returning to to Brentford Park. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we're looking forward to it, I'm sure, as much as they are. Um, it'd be nice to have a, a bit of atmosphere at a game because it's difficult trying to create it yourself, or um, the boys have to create it themselves on the pitch um, previously. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. The gaffer referred to in his press about the, using the squad and the depth of the squad, and you showed the quality that we've got the likes of it to bring on Danny Lloyd and Elton's car to see how the game. Yeah, I think. I think uh, especially in recent weeks, the subs have um, really come on and finished the job off. Um, obviously, Kane came on and won the game for us the other day. And uh, you know, previous weeks uh, we're not weakening ourselves when when the, when the club is making subs. Um, the squad's really strong. Everyone's fighting for their places, so we can only do us in good stead heading into the amount of games that we have over you know the rest of the season because it's just such a short space of time. That's the thing, isn't it? This season is so unique, isn't it? There's so many games fit and fast and play teams playing Tuesday out every week. So it's good, it's good that we've got such uh, you know, depth in numbers. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It helps push the boys as well because you know that if you sort of drop off your standards, there's someone that's waiting to take your place. Um, but we're all in it together, you know, we're all pushing each other. Uh, we're, a, we're a close squad and, you know, hopefully we can just keep, keep it going, keep everyone fit and um, keep it on every week. Enjoy your football? Yeah, it's going really well. Loving it. Thank you. Liam, it's a few weeks into being a new farmer now off the pitch and Morgan Ferry has joined you in the new dad club. How are you managing with that change in your life? Yeah, all right. Uh, it's my second, so uh, I'm used to it. Uh, just back to the old uh, sort of switch around of the body clock. The baby's up, up, up all night and sleeps all day, so we're trying to wait for him to uh, get that change when he gets a little bit older. But, you know, my missus has been brilliant with that, and I, I just sort of keep try and get on with my football as best I can. But it's been alright. I'm really I'm enjoying it. I love being a dad and like I say it's my second so I'm sort of used to it. This um, formation that you've been playing for quite a few weeks now, do you find that really suits your game? Because of, you've been able like for tonight for example, you've been able to get a lot of uh, good deliveries in one after the other. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously teams are sort of cutting it onto that a little bit and they're they're blocking it up a lot in the in the middle of the pitch but you know we changed a bit today and uh, found some, I've spent some spaces out wide, which is, uh, like you say, I could uh, get, a warm, get my deliveries in from different areas. So, yeah, well, whichever way we play, really, as long as we sort of stick to the same principles, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll keep finding myself in the positions that benefit, that I can benefit the team. So, um, yeah, I hope, hope it continues and we keep playing in the same vein that we are. Uh, hold them a decent side, but they were really limited in terms of the chances, and I don't think Scott Davis really had a lot to do, really. Is that a testament to how well drilled Trammer have been coming in recent weeks? Yeah, uh, as I said earlier, not every game is going to be as free-flowing as, as as other weeks have been, where we've been free-scoring and teams are sort of not going to allow us to have it all our own way, you know, especially on their patch. So um, we do have to show that adaptability and have a bit of control in a game when we haven't got the ball, which I felt we had. Um, and yeah, it was just good character. Like, like you said, we, they didn't really trouble us too much. Um, we probably they say we probably didn't trouble them too much, but I still thought we we, we were more dangerous and more controlled in possession, out of possession. Sorry. So um, yeah, it's only another string to our bow. Can need a standard single stick going for the rest of the season. We'll have another first on Saturday, a home match in front of supporters. Uh, there'll be 2,000 Tramia fans in there. That's going to really sort of change the complexion of things, won't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to help us massively. You know, we've missed that. Um, you know, I've played at Brentford Park with this, and the fans are uh, bouncing. I know there's only a small number going to be allowed here, but I'm sure they're going to make themselves heard. They've been looking forward to getting back as much as we're missing them. So, um, you know, lads are really looking forward to that now. We can't wait. We're glad we've got a home game coming next.